like I said, the charities, they raise money every single year. And they, this money that they raise every single year is it, it's supposed to go to the people that are suffering the money that is what the, what, what the charity is supposed to be all about. But it just got to me, and it seems that the money is not getting where it's supposed to. The money is not reaching the charities. Because millions, hundreds of millions of pounds a year is given to charity. But yet still, the people are still hungry. There was a new one that just came on the news the other day. There was a drought in Africa, and stuff like that. But it, it just made me think, like it just made it even more pronounced. There's another drought. It's not that. Before that news came out about the drought, there was a little news story about the amount of money that people are giving to charity. It has gone down due to the economic downturn. And it just so happened to be, very conveniently, that there was another drought in Africa. Or another, um, there was a drought so no food could grow. Now all of a sudden, they want people to donate money. Or try and help this new cause. And this is what it came back to. Because people send millions, tens, hundreds of millions of pounds, dollars, euros, you name it. It's sent all in the best interest, in people's good, where they send it with their heart. They send it because they want to help. But it seems that their money is going and falling on deaf ears because it doesn't seem to be making it to the places that it should be. Because they're still hungry. The amount of money that has been sent, I'm sure it should have made some sort of dent into the problem of the hunger in the parts of Africa that are hungry. But it seems that it doesn't, see, it doesn't have any impact whatsoever because they're still collecting all of this money. And they collect the money and the money goes, it's, it doesn't get to the people that it's supposed to. Instead, the money goes into the pockets of the same corrupt people and the same idiots that were causing all of the problems in the first place. So round and round we go in this constant circle where people are supposed to be raising money, supposed to be donating money, but it doesn't, it's, it's not making it, the money's not getting it, and they send it in the best will, and they do all the, all the, 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 the stunts and the sponsorship and the racing, raising the money and all the running and they do the, the, the jumping in the custard and the falling and all the, and the, all the embarrassing stuff and they, they do it for good causes um, and they, they, the money is supposed to get sent but then before the money even reaches a hungry child's starving belly, it, a big slice is cut off and those people in charge, they cut a big chunk for themselves and most of the money doesn't even make it because by the time that because by the time the money gets um, to where it needs to get to, you got to think about taxation and you got to think about um, you got to give a little cut for the people that are in charge to make sure that the money can get there. Then you got to get the supplies. Then the supplies come with infrastructure and people, and then you got to transport all of this stuff, and it costs lots and lots of money. So by the time the by the time the, the food gets to the child's mouth, we're talking about well, the odd bag of, of, of grain here or the odd um, fishing rod or the odd mud hut and stuff. Oh, come on. I mean, by now, you could have, like, everybody, the amount of money that, is, that was sent, if it was dealt with properly, every single person in Africa could have had a yard. Similar to the red brick prefabs that we've got going on over here. Every single person could have been housed, but no, the money has to be siphoned off. People have to get their cut, people have to get their little bit or whatever you want to call it, it gets siphoned off. And those who should be getting the money is not getting any of it. And hungry belly pitney must walk about naked on the television with a huge gassy belly to make everybody feel bad and feel really, really sad about what is going on. Everybody feels really, really rotten about it and they can't take it and they feel like though they should do something. So you try and do something, but then when you try and do the thing that you want to do, it doesn't get you anywhere in fact you're just lining pockets of already rich people so that's a bit foolish but we don't seem to have any choice i just think that the whole charity thing is is another biggest bit of like scamming i've ever seen if they, they should be like done for fraud if you ask me and 
the reason why they're allowed to get away with it is because of the circles and the way how they run this whole operation, how the whole shebang goes. If people was to delve into charities a bit more, they might see that it's not all as rosy and green as you think. Because there was, there should have come a point where you shouldn't need to keep asking for more and more money. Because if you're asking for more and more money, then obviously you're not doing your job properly. It's like with the football thing. You can't keep throwing, having more and more money, just being flung in willy-nilly and trying to achieve an, ob a, an objective that is futile. You have to think about the amount that you're spending. You just can't keep going on just spending more and more and more until eventually what you're left with is a huge amount of debt, but then no real product to show for it. It can't work. It would have been better if people who want to donate and try and help those who are starving and hungry in Africa go over there and do it themselves. But then you stand the risk of being shot, stabbed, both being poisoned or any of the above. And this is dangerous times that we're living in. But compared to how other people have it in the world, we don't have it so tough. Everything is kind of easy for us and there's no comparing to that. Nobody can tell me that I'm talking rubbish or I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a fact. But right now, that, that particular scam got to me and I realized it, what they were doing. They're actually using the people and making the people them think that they're actually doing good work when they're not doing a damn thing. They're not doing any form of good work whatsoever. They're allowing the same evil dictators and that, that, are, that caused the problems in the first place to still remain in their place. I mean, even the other day I heard um, Seb Blatter, the head of FIFA, went to go and meet Robert Mugabe. What? Did I What did I miss here? Am I, am, I, am I foolish? And don't give me that about he's black and all that stuff there, that's the white man. Don't give me that rubbish. Don't give me none of that. Because the people that in Zimbabwe are starving, they are hungry, and still, all those that didn't vote for him have got problems. But yet still, the head of FIFA, one of the, the most, Corrupt dudes right now. He's right up there with the corruptness. Right now, yeah, and the fraud. He's going to meet um was Mugabe. I mean, you couldn't make that up. And these are the things that get to people because they feel like there's nothing they can do about it. Because you've got tyrants like Mugabe in charge of countries. And just because nobody didn't vote for them, those countries there are, are gonna suffer the people that in that country are gonna suffer. They end up having to like, try, and, try and flee and escape from what once was their home and have to build a home or build another life somewhere else, all because of how they voted. And that's the thing over here. We don't vote, or most, most of our people don't vote because we think that there's no point in voting because it, it, it feels like this, we, we won't have no effect. But that's rubbish. If we all got off our off of our asses and all went out there to, uh, if it was the next election and voted, we could make a difference. If we was to put up a proper candidate and try and vote, we could make a difference. The problem over here is that we're all deterred from it. It's all to make, make it look like it's hard. But if we was to get, like, really grab the power and really group together, we'd be able to go to Africa and solve the problems. And then it wouldn't be the Chinese or those, like, those ones that are trying to like dig up all the minerals. We'd be collecting all the minerals and all the money for ourselves. So we wouldn't have to worry about any of that. That's what I'm saying. This is the problems here that we have to deal with, man. I'll be back after the break. You keep it here in the BFM with Crazy D. 101.9. BFM.co.uk. Hoodedclerics.co.uk. And also the R2 Brotherhood, obviously, r2brotherhood.co.uk. Blood, I go run, rebel, 